Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today I have a little experiment that I have planned out ordered from China and now it's in and I want to show you what this is all about this is my favorite server the old Lenovo IBM 3650 model 1 and it has the four numbers 7979 and this is my favorite server mostly because it never breaks and now you're sitting out there yeah you have one that broke I've never seen one break so that's kind of why it's my favorite server plus it's you can expand it a lot although I have found some points where it's not as good as it could be anymore and well let's um, let's go into this idea I want to put in a solid state drive in it and I want to put in a tiny one like these small M2 ones and they come as tiny solid state drive this is a really cheap Chinese brand um, everything back here is in Chinese uh, focus made in China and it's a brand we never heard about King Spec it was cheap um, I want to put that in my server can we do that I'm hoping so because I also got these I got I got three of these and we'll just go to the little make up table here and see what that is so these 3650s are really awesome they have room for six of these three and a half inch uh, drive bays and as I've shown in previous videos with another rate controller I can put in up to 48 or 60 terabytes of data in a server like this but if I do that I would really like it to boot on something else I have tried to boot it on USB sticks that is possible here I have a 16 gigabyte USB stick and yes you can do that but that's when you get into a bit of a hassle with this server because this server only comes with USB 1 and um, ESXi 6.6 .6 or something else takes a really long time to boot from USB 1 I could of course put a solid state drive inside of I have actually made a video where I make this cable for putting in a solid state drive uh, the tricky part is that inside the server there is on the system board there is a connection for a SAS drive like this but there is no connection for the power so I made this custom power cable to do that this one goes into a connector on the system board I did do a video on this and it was um, it, it's possible but well it's a hassle so um, yeah you could put this in solid state drive and boot from that that would that would be good but then I came up with this that I now want to try let's just see what this is oh, there's a lot of good things in that we can use this as a little table here there is a bracket for mounting in a PCI slot there's a cable and here is the important stuff right, there's a couple of screws in there we don't want to throw away this is a um, PCI Express card and the little um, SD card goes in here and this card is able to handle two of them I'm not sure if it can do that at the same time but it can handle two um, one of them is the SSD version uh, these are called M2 cards uh, it doesn't say anyway uh, there's a bit M M here, key M, I'm not sure what that means but um, there is two versions, one of them is an SSD and one of them is a PCI Express the really fast one is the PCI Express that's also the really expensive one the really cheap one, <coughs> which is the one I got um, you can kind of see it here they have made a drawing of how that looks it has two slots in the PCB if we go close we can see that this has two slots here as uh, two holes so that will go up here oh yeah and uh, that needs a SATA connector but it gets the power from the PCI Express port so my idea is to mount this 
card in this one up here put a cable down to the system board put this in the server and hopefully the server will boot from this well that's what we're going to be trying we have climbed around the back of these uh, x3650s and they have two pci full height card here but over here they have two cards also that is half height and i want to go into one of these ports because they are not used for anything else so just uh, wanted you to see that therefore we're going to be using this one the half height one we're gonna put that on here hmm like that that's gonna be awesome and I saw some screws in this A couple of screws and yeah there is the other one this one is not needed this one is not needed Oh, oh, it opens. I don't need the scissors. Okay. Cool. And there's a screw in there. We don't want to lose that. That one. And here's the little cup. I put on a wristband. So um, we want to put that down here. There. And it's a full length one. So I don't. Oh. So. We don't really need this screw. It already comes with a screw here. Oi. Oh, I almost lost that one. So we put this one in. Okay, this is pretty cool. It goes in this way. And they have actually made it so that you can't put it in the wrong way. It will um, be out of alignment and be in conflict with this corner down here. So that's awesome. We'll put that in. I've never tried this before, so pretty cool. Oh, sticks up like that. Oh, so it, they haven't tightened this, so it's just turning around. That's stupid, but well, at least you can't over tighten it. So, well, that's the plan anyway. So. And it comes with a cable, so we're gonna put that in as well. Have that go in there, like that. And we have a 64 gigabyte SSD. That's a really weird form factor, right? Okay, camera fully charged again. So this is the inside of the X3650 Model 1. And down here we have the RAM and we have this special RAID controller that I put in in another video. So that RAID controller will control the six disks out here in the front of the server. And down here, which is pretty hard to see right there, but right there uh, we have a SATA controller. And very conveniently it's right next to these half high PCI Express ports which are down here and SAS controller right there and here is the card so let's put that in um, have to decide if I want to put it in one or the other mm, doesn't really matter I think we'll put it in this one just for being able to see it the best so I'm gonna plug in the connector first and the motherboard yep. the cable is a little bit too long so with a little bit of luck I just plugged in a 64 gigabyte SSD drive right there put this back in didn't really need to take this out I don't know why I did that but that wasn't really necessary I can access this without doing that so um, no. the M2 card here is an X4 PCI Express the PCI Express port at the system board is an X8 
both of them. Well, so just to make this really easy, I'm gonna take out all the drives here so that they don't interfere. And power on the server. I have no idea, I haven't tested this, I have no idea what's gonna happen. You might wanna put in this USB stick at some point, see what's on there. I'm guessing that there's an installation for something. So far so good, no problems yet. F12 for boot order, press F12 to go to the boot order. Oh, configuration has changed. Yeah, probably it's missing all the disks. Yeah, the RAID controller is really unhappy here. First it's, it's it doesn't have a battery and then all the disks has gone. Press any key to continue. So it's really pissed at me for taking those out. The controller will not even see the new SSD that is routed directly to the system board. So, well, let's see if we can see that when we get in there. Okay, here it tells us about some problems. Continue. Let's see what I'm having trouble with. Primary master device, 8 gigabytes. Hmm. I think this says 64 gigabytes. Weird. But there is something there. Something there, okay. Yeah, it's complaining about that. Let's see what this is. IDE configuration menu. Master device. Ultra DMA mode, supported size. Okay, not much to do there. Let's say that's okay and go out. Save setting. See if it sees this 64 gigabytes or if this is um, Chinese engineering and it's really only eight exit setup. Yes. Oh, so it boots all over. Okay, here in the choice for the boots, there is not anything that says that this is good or bad so i put in a usb stick and see if i can boot that and get that's my samsung flash drive this boot only yes escape and continue try that see what i have on that this is Seems that I have an installation of Lenovo ESXi 6.0. Let's try and see if it will do that. It will. So we will try and install this and run that and see if it sees any hard drives. I won't bother you with this. Okay, it has loaded and is now ready to install. Press 11 and it will search for devices where I can install this on. Hopefully this is where it finds the SSD drive. And it did. Okay, and it is actually, well, it's not 64, but it's 59. That is close enough. That's, it says it's an NT64. And that's actually, I think I saw that. Oh, it must have been on the web page, but that was the model number of the drive, so we can install that on there. And I'll install Danish keyboard there. Hit it, and I'll put in a password. Awesome! And here it asks if it's okay to delete this drive. I'm pretty sure that is fine. So I'm gonna install ESXi 6.0.0. Um, only because this is what I had on my USB stick, so the main reason. Okay, the installation is still going on. I've just removed the USB stick and it should be booting on its own power for the first time. And if this succeeds and it boots, um, well then we're good. I might have to go into the BIOS and tell it that um, to boot from the SATA. Port, but 
Well, maybe this is okay. Okay, it's booting. Um, already this is a huge success. So this means that this concept actually works, which is awesome. I just um, unwrapped one more of these and mounted the bracket here. So that's fantastic. One of the great ideas that I think I have, which might not be happening, but right now we're just booting from this one. But why not put this one in as well? So then I would have like this one to boot on and go down to the system with a SAS connector. And you could have some really fast storage here. Like SSD is fast, but this M2 PCI Express SSD is like two to three times faster than a regular SSD. So this could hold two cards running at the same time. One going that way with the data connection and one going that way with the data connection. Only thing that I think is a problem is that the X3650 model one um, does not have the chipset for the PCI thing. I have heard something about that you need a pretty new CPU to be able to use this and new BIOS firmware but well but I haven't bought one of those yet. They are also a bit more expensive than the SSD ones up here. So that one well now that this works I will use the money and get that one too just to see that working. So um, well hmm I thought I could prepare for this shot while the ESXi 6.0 was loading but apparently the SSD on this thing is also so fast that that didn't happen which is a good thing it's apparently okay fast so I think this is really awesome um, did I mention that these cards is about six dollars six point something dollars I got these from China I'll be linking um, to an Amazon link to something similar if I can't find this but um, six dollars for a card like this that solves this problem and gives you all the six bays in front of the servers for your 48 to 60 terabytes of data and booting on an SSD inside I do believe that this is pretty awesome so uh, well Thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again. And have a really nice day. Bye!